burn. Thank you for inviting us into your kitchen. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this dish and what made you uh, pick why you wanted to do this particular dish? Sure. So it's a Persian dish. I'm from uh, Iran. So I wanted to uh, present you something uh, from my country. Uh, may, uh, usually they make it um, in the uh, Northwest and um, it's a sweet. So it's a, des uh, it's a desert. Dessert. I always pronounce that wrong. Anyway, <laughs> I mix them up. I always, yeah. I always spell it wrong. So even <laughs> native, native English speakers get confused. Good, good to know. Uh, yeah, it's a sweet and they usually have it uh, after their meal. And usually also in the months uh, that the, the weather is uh, cold, but uh, why not in hot summer? It's, uh, it's delicious. <laughs> when you say cold, I don't really think of Iran as being a cold country. Well, how, the how whole country, cool? no, but, uh, but it's, um, it's a four season country. So for example, I live in Shiraz. In winters, it's very cold. In summers, it's very hot. And this food is coming from, as I said, Northwest, which is actually in the summer, in the winters, it's even colder. Like they always have snow. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just, yeah. I admit, I'm that. ignorant there. I'm sorry. So, no, no, no. Learn, worry. Good to learn something new. So, uh -huh. um, the recipe list is very simple. It is. Um, yeah. The only thing we, I had a hard time is saffron. So, oh, really? I thought the rose water was harder to find, but okay. Um, uh, rose water, <laughs> I personally use this pretty regularly um, for making, um, I just forgot what it's called. It's like with the thin wafers and you put butter and nuts and honey. Um, is that oh. Cool, cool. Huh? Anybody uh -huh. know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I like flavoring it with um, the Greek stuff. Um, hey, oh well, I'm sure everybody. Out, um, it's baklava. Baklava. <laughs> wow. Ay, like, ay, ay! I was just like, don't you hate when your mind goes blank? All right. Um, so. Carrots, oil, sugar, flour, cardamom, saffron, and rose water. Rose water. So, well, actually, yes. I cut and paste and forgot the rose water on here. So, um, I'm putting it in the chat, adding rose water. All right, let's. Okay. Here, I'll I'll show you the ingredients I got, and you can tell me if. Um, well, first of all, lots and lots of good organic yeah, carrots. That's perfect. Okay. Um, I have two different kinds of cardamom. I've got the whole one. Uh -huh. I've got the powder. Wow. The powder is very good. Yep. And so, and then vegetable oil and sugar and mm -hmm. rose water and uh, some local, local flour. So. Perfect. All right. Okay, so I now tell you how much you want. Like, um, okay, for for myself, I'm just one person, so I'm uh, cooking little, but you can, uh, whatever I say, you can double it, triple it, and make it as much as you want. Uh, for example, I'm taking 250 grams of carrots. Uh, if you need to make more, you can do 500 grams, and then whatever I say, just double the amount. Well, let me so go grab Grab my scale. I forgot okay, what baking. Baking is better if you're precise with measurements. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm also bringing my um, cutting board. Since you were cutting, I would cut too. And uh, yeah, the the other ingredients. So for the for that amount of carrot, I need uh, half a glass of uh, flour. Then uh, again, half a glass of sugar. Then uh, one. Wait a second! You're doing the other things in grams, but now you're doing glasses. 
Sorry, glass is much easier than uh, grams because then I don't have a scale <laughs> and I can just my eyes. Oh, oh. Good. so you don't need a scale. You just did the, 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 the carrots based on you bought some at the market. Yes, exactly. Oh, I was okay. at the market and you bought uh, them in bulk. So you knew, that's why you knew how much they weighed. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. In the, when you when you go to the market, sometimes you'll get them by weight, but a lot of times they just sell them by the piece here. Uh, but even if you are buying them by the, by the piece, you have to weigh them and put like label on it, right? No. So you know how. No, no. in the, in oh, the just farmers market, one carrot. They'll, they'll say like, you know, I don't know, six for a dollar, and you just pick your six. Interesting. No, yep. here you have to weigh them and uh, put a label on them. Interesting. Yeah. So anyway, I was going ahead, telling you glasses, if you want to bring your glass and fill them. <laughs> so let's see, say how much in the glass again? Uh, the carrot, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, the other things. Oh, the other things, a half a glass of um, flour, half a glass of sugar, um one fourth of a glass of vegetable oil uh, sorry of rose water probably Bye. so are you mixing it also yeah mixing no 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 do not mix them all okay so i need to put them in separate containers separate yeah it's here okay. i did like this is my sugar this is my flour uh, rose water I do later. Okay. I mean, in in the process of doing it, we can talk about it, and we can, for now, just do the, uh, just do the carrots. How do you prepare the carrots? I will boil them until they're soft. Alright. Which pan? Then... I like this pan. With my induction burner, the the more surface. It's better to cook. Oh, okay. So, um, so, okay. I have, I'm I think how much I should make. When you, when you bake this, or when you make this, do you make it in a, like a, a baking pan? Yes, a big pan later. Oh, I but now so I want to just boil it. So I could do a lot of carrots in this big in a nine by thirteen. I do not recommend it because I want to add the flowers and everything, and then I want to um, mix it by how do you call it? You know, a creep when you move a creep. So um, I'm doing the same with my shaking. It's not shaking yeah. actually. It's yeah. I don't know. Rocking. Uh, you want yeah, to rock? uh, yeah. 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 Very good. Very good. That word is perfect. So I want to rock it, so I don't want it to be full because otherwise uh, it okay. wouldn't go well. Yeah. How much water do you put? Or it doesn't matter because you're pouring the water out. It doesn't out matter, I, I pour it out, yes. Some people do it even with milk, like they boil it in milk until the milk is completely uh, evaporated. And I, I prefer water. Okay, I'll go and start. It sounds like a lot more work, but it probably tastes better. Maybe, yeah. It's just a little softer and tastier when you do milk, but it, it's a lot of work. All right. So the smaller you cut the carrots, the quicker they cook, right? Yeah, exactly. And do you try to buy smaller carrots because they cook faster or it doesn't matter? Uh, if you want to cook fast, yes. But if you want to, uh, you don't care about the time, you can buy big carrots as well. It doesn't matter. Because at the end, we will um, mash them. Glad it started. like 
when you when you eat this is you mm -hmm. eat this just with some tea or is it part of a, a you know a full meal no it's a, usually people do not do it as a meal they do it after the meal so yes you can have a, a tea with it but you can have it alone like like any kind of this uh, dessert okay just like any dessert yeah. dessert yes how long does it stay good for you it can last uh, a couple of days the fresh the better but it doesn't go bad very fast so if you cover it, yeah, well I don't think it's it going to last a couple of days in my refrigerator just because I'll eat it. Ah, okay. That's another issue. Based but on the ingredients. Just... Yeah, here I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's going to last very long. <laughs> That's funny. No, you can keep it for a couple of days. It, it stays very well. Okay, since I don't have a powdered car, uh, kind of uh, cardamom, I'm going to cut my uh, cardamoms and uh, grind them. You oh, do you have the whole them. the whole pod? Yeah, unfortunately, oh, I didn't wow. grind powder. Oh, wow, I've never seen it like that. Oh, you I didn't? So, up to the... Yes, Looks this like... is wine. Yes. Oh, yeah, I've so... seen it. Actually, I take that back. I've seen it, and they're really hard to get the... No, actually, it is not. I just cut it very easily. You see, I took away the seeds. I'm trying to think. So I'm going, yeah, very easily. I actually and, have a bag of those somewhere. Yeah. So I am now taking the seeds to grind. You roll it, and the seeds are very, very small, yeah? Yeah. So do you think yeah, I, I can, can show you the, also the seeds? The so powder, which, or do you think I should grind some fresh? No, I think the powder is much better. I wanted powder. I didn't find it in the market. So I, so look at the seeds, if you want to see these black things. Okay. And yeah, these ones. So I put them in my, um, how do you call these? It's like a little I don't know the name. Yeah, what do you call this? A, most... a, little... a mortar and pestle. Oh, man. Yeah. Raw. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. What what kind yeah. of metal is that? That's a nice one. I have a. Oh yeah. I have, a, I have one made I out of it. stone. I have one made out of stone, but that's a nice metal one. Yeah, I I prefer the stone ones, but this is also good. I brought it from Iran. They are very the common over there. It looks like I a think it's it's what brass maybe. Is it very very heavy? It is heavy, yeah. Oh yeah, then probably brass. Yeah, I don't know the name of the uh, the metal. Okay. As usual, I'm making a very big batch. Okay. I hope you have a space to rock it later. <laughs> well, I'll share it. Okay. And then do you know uh, how much is it so that you know how much other stuff you have to... Uh, no, I don't. Well, let's see. Actually, it says it on the bag. Okay. Three pounds. I always forget, like, I'm so used to when I'm cooking... You just do uh -huh. things by the heart, but when you bake, yes, yes, it but then it's your first fight. time. You should know. So, two kilos. Oh, you're putting two kilos of carrot. E. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm making a big batch. I'm hoping that people around you like that uh, dessert. Yeah. You don't think they will? I think they. Will. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if they don't. Then you're doomed. <laughs> you have to eat it all by yourself. I I am up to the challenge. Okay, good. Okay, I have the powder ready. Okay, now I'm going to do the same with saffron. I've seen people in Europe when they want to use saffron, they just go with this. Um, uh, with like the way it is, 
but uh, we in Iran we usually grind it and then put hot water on it and leave it for a while and that causes all the extract to come out and all the color so it makes uh, the dish that you make with it much better i've always our our local we have a, a food festival every february here and there's a group uh -huh from Iran who makes uh, Persian food and they always make this milk dessert that has uh -huh. saffron and cardamom in it that I okay. like. I always, yeah. so you, you have to buy tickets ahead of time and then you go buy at the different booths and I always uh -huh. buy like three of this dessert. Like Ooh, I, eat, nice. I eat one and I take two home. Wow, cool. So I, um, but do yeah, they I mean, do it in like front said, of people? You, you just got the got, get the cooked uh, ready one. Oh no, they have to cook it. It's a oh, so you see how they make it. It's a, no, no, no. You don't see how they make it. They just serve it there. But it's a fundraiser for like the student group. So oh, the different good. student groups from different countries uh -huh. uh, make food right. and then you know educate people about the food. So it's at the Very local university. I like it. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, that is simmering. But you said I can just use the powder instead of that. So I, that'll save me some time. But I mean, yeah. it smells so like... Good. I've always wondered, like, it smells so rich and I've always been afraid to actually take one and just eat one because I've like, it's so no, I strong think flavor. Eating it without, yeah, it's very strong, I guess. All right, rose I hope water. The noise doesn't uh, annoy you guys because I'm grinding this. Oh, actually, Zoom blocks out really loud sounds. Perfect. Happy. <laughs> All right, so half a cup flour and half a sugar. Yeah, half a sugar. Wait, wait, wait. I'm doing yeah. way more. You had. 300? Uh, yeah, I had uh, 250 grams. So if you're doing two it. kilograms, yeah, it's four it. times more. Yeah. All right. Get rid of the small bowls and go bigger. Cups of flour. You can also put a little water to boil so that uh, you will add it to the uh, to the saffron powder. Say that again. Uh, I'm making the saffron like powder. Oh yeah. And afterwards, I'm going to add hot water to it. So uh, you can uh, start boiling some water if you like. Is it very hard for you to find saffron, and is it very expensive? It is expensive, but it's not hard to find. And usually it's a gift. Like whenever someone comes from Iran or someone goes, they, they sure will bring some saffron. Uh, even in Iran, it's expensive. So people sometimes use it as a gift. Like when they want to come to your house or bring something, they bring saffron. Now you're making like a tea with it, right? You're extracting it. Uh-huh. How many oh, times yeah. do you just do it once or do you use that same one to extract each? Like, like sometimes I'll use, make the same herbs and make like four teas. Ah, so for I'm just making for this uh, dessert. So I uh, took a little bit of that, uh, that product, okay? And now I'm grinding it. And then I just add a little bit of water. So I will add the whole thing to my... But I understand what you mean. You can keep it for later. I don't recommend it with saffron. The if it is fresh or the best is if you start like two three hours before and then use it. Um, one. So you're hour, just you're grinding hour. the that into the water, so it's part of no, it. No, no, it it is not water on top of it yet. Well, no, but you will add that to the water, and it becomes part of the water. 
Yeah, it's not yeah, like exactly. tea, it's not like tea where you have a thing and then you soak it ah, in the water okay. and then you take that out and you can make another no, tea. No, no, I understood. I understood. No. Yeah. So, all right, sugar. So I'm a little behind. Are the carrots already in the water on the stove? Yeah, they're boiling. Yes, yeah. they're boiling. OK, got it. Thanks. We're going to mash them so they need to be really soft. Yep. Now, has this always been made with sugar or in the past made with honey? You know? Hmm. That one, I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever sweetener you can get, I guess. My favorite Middle Eastern sweetener is uh, dates. Date. Oh, you know. yeah. They're oh, my so gosh. Good. Sweetener made from dates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I got the flour. Flour and sugar. Okay. Now I'm going to show you this. So is that hot water? Yes. So I'm going to show you, but how do I? Okay, here. So this is the powder. You can see. Okay. Now I add a very little amount of water. Okay, that's enough. Like this much. Okay, and I will leave it be uh, for because we are cooking other things right now. So we will leave it and then uh, I will come back to it. I will put a plate or something on top of it so that it stays warm and uh, doesn't. Is it like reg regular tea? The longer it's in there, the better. So like you want it for. Yeah. Yep. So. It's, it's better to keep it, uh, keep it longer. Okay. Not for three days, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now uh, we can start with another step, which is, uh, okay, how I have lost many of my English words. How do you say that? When you pour the flour into the pan without anything and you just roast it. Is it roasting? I think so, right? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Oh, I only have one burner. I mean, I'll have to turn the gas burner on. I've been oh. I've been using this electric burner. Uh-huh. Induction. Um, okay. But I also have underneath it, I have a gas stove. But I don't okay. use that I, when, it, when it's hot in the summer. I don't I like see. to use the gas. But I recommend if you want to do that, put this down and put the pan up because that's the one that we want to play with. So this one can stay down there. Oh, but I need but... to turn the gas on because we're going to bake this anyway. So. Okay. So here, I'll turn the gas on. Okay. Okay. But you, I need to toast the flour. Yeah, we need to do that. All right. Okay. This off for a second because we don't toast it for very long right no we just want the smell of uh, being cro uh, being raw uh, <laughs> crude being crude goes away then it's okay but then we will add other stuff uh, like your butter and uh, oil what temperature do you like to toast it at very low temperature, very high, or? No, something in the middle toward the low. All right, I got it in the exact middle. Bravo. <laughs> okay. Why do you so toast now. the flour? I mean, I've never done that before. It, it makes it taste much better because uh, <laughs> the flour itself uh, tastes a little bit raw or crude when you're uh, buying it. 
when you toast or roast or whatever, uh, it's here. And then that uh, smell goes away and then it makes it much more delicious and good. I don't want the, the flour to change color because then your, uh, your dessert doesn't uh, look as orange and pretty anymore, but you want the smell to go away. So keep until the time that the, you, you see it, it's starting to change the color. Interesting. I don't think I've ever roasted flour before, but there so it, is doesn't, a... it doesn't really put a flavor into the flour. It actually takes flavor away, you say? Yes, takes the crude flavor away. Yeah, yeah, the raw flavor. It's also there is a recipe for raw cookie dough that has that's safe to eat. And the one thing is you have to um, cook the flour beforehand on the stove. Oh, so you roast. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, so you do roast it or toast it or whatever. And also it kills some of, there's something in it too that that kills. It probably, I definitely, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure it takes out the, the moisture, but that really doesn't do anything. Yeah. Makes a nuttier tasting, I would think. And then, but, we're not actually trying to like, so I, I've, I've done flour like this to make a gravy, but then you burn the flour to make the gravy have no, flavor. No, no, for sure. There are kinds of halvas that they uh, kind of make it brown by doing it, right? Or not brown, but goldish. Uh, but that is not what we are going to do with Oh, I'm smelling it now. I'm starting to smell the flour. Yes, smell, the smell flour. much better now, yeah. Um, it actually smells like fresh baked bread is what it smells like in here now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And that's what we want. Yeah, I guess if you if you browned it a little bit, then your hava yeah. would have like a nutty taste without having to spend the money for nuts. <laughs> Maybe, but then the, the color of the, the dessert would, wouldn't look very right. good because I want it be, to be like orange and uh, like shiny. So right. I don't Are want there... it to be... Are there other common flavors of halva or is it carrot the, the predominant? No, actually carrot is not very predominant. As I said, it's just in one region of Iran that make it. Uh, the other, the one that's very, very common is mm -hmm. without anything. Like they, they add the saffron, but uh, it's just flour. There is another one that they make with starch. There are uh, the ones that they, that they make with dates. They are also very good. And uh, yeah, the, e each region of the country have their own uh, specialties. I mean, this one actually looks very uh, appealing because of the bright the orange. Pepper. Yeah, because of the bright orange color. But yeah, you can see uh, ones that are white, ones that are um, yellow because of the zap saffron and uh, yeah. So to tell this is done, you said you smell, it smells less, and then it starts to brown just a little bit? Yeah, uh, I, it starts, to, as, as soon as it starts to look goldish, I will add my butter or oil because I don't want it to. I'm going to uh, use some butter. Bear. I'm going to get some butter. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So. I'm adding my butter. Nope. Once in my life, I don't have butter. <laughs> oh, use vegetable oil. Usually I put butter and I put it in the freezer so I don't have to worry about it. I buy big bags. I do the same. I usually keep my butter in the freezer. Okay, but so I, add, I added that. So okay, I don't well, let's see how much butter. oil. So one uh, sixth of a glass, so not too much. I think that's enough. I added also butter, but I don't want to make it very, very um, oily. So very little. Enough. You can see the texture changing.
Maybe I have to add a little more. Because you're trying to make it all lick. mixed, mixed with the with the flour. Yeah. It should start to smell like these uh, butter cookies. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. It did change. I don't even have butter, but mine changed smell. Good. Oh, I think I might almost put too much. Oh, I forgot. I actually had. Yeah. I actually Four had for when I'm baking. Or eight I have times more. butter flavored oil. See, oh. this is. Ah, know, good. Buy it in a okay, gallon. You can... Yeah. You have too much carrot and too less uh, flour. So I hope it's uh, it ends well. <laughs> well. I can add more flour, but we did. Oh, wait. No, I didn't put enough. I was supposed to do four times. I only did. did. Actually, eight times because you had two kilograms, not one. Yeah. I did only did four times and I need eight times. Oops. Yeah. I have more flour, but it's too late now, probably. Yeah. Yes, because it's not uh, roasted or toasted or. <laughs> I'll make a half batch then with the carrots. Okay. Now it just looks like brown sugar. Is it brown? I shouldn't be brown. No, if it is it's brown, just the oil then... oil made it darker. Ah, okay. Have we added sugar yet? No. no, no, no. The sugar will go to the carrots uh, later. So it's just the roasted flour and some oil or butter. Yep. Yeah. Butter is better. Hey, whichever you prefer. I. Okay, mine actually hasn't enough oil. So I add just a little bit because it shouldn't and be mine very is still dry. Mine is still dry. It's supposed to be completely stuck together. Yeah. Yeah, you have to mix it a lot. And if you think that it is very um, hard, add a little bit oil to make it a little bit more uh, liquidy. Sure. Okay, yeah, I'll check the carrots. I think the carrots should be ready. Mine are pretty, my carrots are pretty soft, but I think I'll cook them a little more. Yeah, me too. Mine are not soft enough either because I want them to be very, very soft. So I lower the uh, the flame underneath this uh, uh, fl flour and oil, or I can totally totally turn it off. Yes, and wait for the carrots. Now the, the carrots, you just always mash them by hand or you ever put them like in a blender or a food processor? I put it in a blender. It's much easier to do that. Awesome. <laughs> I'm lazy. And I think they might be soft enough already to do that. I know a friends of mine, when they make the um, gajahawa in India, they take uh -huh. and they grate the onion or the, the carrots. So in a grater before they cook it. Ah, oh, before they cook it. That's interesting. Yeah, Maybe like we can grater. do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot that's of work. No, it's, no it goes but really maybe fast. that's faster. Yeah. You just have to not slice your finger in it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Are you making fun of the time I chop my thumb off? Well, if you look here, this is the damage I did on my thumb uh, when I was cooking a watermelon on Sunday. 
I, I slice the tip off. <laughs> Just the tip. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just the tip off. That's okay. It'll grow back. <laughs> It'll grow back. That's fine. <laughs> okay, I think I'm taking my carrots and put it in the... So I need uh, half these carrots in this blender. And we're not putting the water, just the carrots, yeah. No, no water to the carrots. So I'm just uh, uh, using the strainer to get rid of the water. Okay. And then... Okay. Now I'm adding the carrots in a strainer, as you can see here. Let me see. Okay. You can see them here. I'll add it to my blender, the food processor or whatever the name of this thing is. I just put it here. I add the sugar to it. Oh, add sugar to it? Yeah, to the carrots in the blender. Oh, I should have done half a batch. Okay. I add the rose water, one fourth of a glass. All right. I will also add the cardamom. Let's see how much cardamom. And just half a teaspoon for what I'm making. For you, you may. Yep, so I'm making four times. So Great. That's one you can very easy. Oh my goodness, that rose water smells good. Now, did you yes, put the cardamom is. just right into the carrots, right? Yeah, straight to the carrots, sugar, cardamom, and uh, saffron I'm going to add, and rose water. So it should be fine. Like rose that. water smells like heaven. <laughs> Good. Okay. Here, take a smell. Of this. Uh. Okay, I can also put my saffron in it. Um, Okay, now that I blended it, maybe I have to check how good it is. Okay. No, not blended yet. Make it completely like. Mm -hmm. I think you can just eat it just like this without baking it. Yeah, it's even delicious that that way. Okay, I put back the the flour and oil on the stove, and now I'm going to add the carrot thingy to it. It's very delicious, actually, as it's even like this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I forgot to put the flour back on it.
All I see is the ceiling. What's going on? Sorry, sorry. I'm putting this in. <laughs> and I have to change the face of this uh, camera. Okay, maybe here is good. Let's make sure. Okay, maybe this. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we just, we have everything together now, right? Yep. And you guys have. I'm not successful yet, which is funny. And get rid of this blender. Okay. I guess Looks like baby food. food. Pardon? Looks like oh, baby food. I dropped something on the floor. <laughs> baby food. Some of the, the some of the extra carrots I dropped. I'm going ahead and blending the extra one, but I'll have to figure out what I'm going to make it. Yeah, maybe later. I didn't, can, I didn't uh, roast enough flour, so. Yeah, maybe later, later you can do it because the carrots you can keep if you want. I'll just eat the carrots without the flour. That is another good option. So I just got the heat halfway up. Yeah. Okay. Now that's too, that seems too high. The, the, the flame? What's what seems too high? Yeah, the, the the heat. No. You can see it. No, Medium it's heat. But on, you, on you as it's too hot. Okay. No. I'm gonna put it down. Okay. Um, Are you just trying to simmer it or just mix it? Yes, yes. I'm yeah, mixing so, them completely. There's not much water in here. No, there's it shouldn't no be. Water. Actually, I want to get rid of the water. Yeah, there's no water in here. So good. So you're successful. Nice and thick. So you keep yeah, you keep uh uh, mixing them and uh, on the in the stove, and suddenly you will see that it's making like like when you make a dough and you see it doesn't stick to the pan anymore and they are together, and that's the good time that you know uh, is the time for the next uh, step. So for now, mine is not on that level yet. Yeah. Okay. Try not to do two things at once here. Stay focused on this. I think I need to get a metal spoon instead of this baking spoon. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Getting really thick and hard to spin. To stir. Yeah, it's like plantak, like burning dough. That's the whole thing. Like play dough, it needs to look like. It's like a, it's like a pudding. Yeah, play dough. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, yeah. Look how orange it is. Wow. And mine's a pinky color. Well, what kind of carrots you got? <laughs> exactly. That's what I want to say. They have They're pink orange, carrots. But, but my rose syrup was is actually, I didn't have rose water. I had rose syrup. Ah. So that's bright red. So I've got the red mixed with the orange. Oh, it's a right okay. red colored syrup. Huh? Interesting. Yeah. You have to tell us how did it come out. I'll let me show you the color. Let's see. Uh, there we are. Ah, beautiful. I like it. So it's not my my camera's not so good. Let me spotlight you. Yeah, but still it looks beautiful. So oh, it's kind of like an orangey, peachy orange. I yeah, dropped yeah. some on the floor. Me, well, I <laughs> but it looks very beautiful. Wow, look how red that is. Yeah. It's more like a peach. <laughs> Actually, you can make something like this with, uh, well, that was not peach, but with other kinds of fruits like um, apricot. How about sweet potato? Yeah, I've never tried. <laughs> Maybe you should do it and tell us how it will turn out. Well, I was yeah, just thinking like if you make probably you do carrots because you make lots a lot cheaper 
So I was thinking, <laughs> like, if I want to make for, you know, a hundred people, uh huh, carrots are it. probably an easier way of doing this. Uh huh. So what texture are we trying to get here? Just like the moisture. Uh, may I like may I see yours? Okay. Oh, you're getting there. Your yours is much uh, ahead of mine. Okay. So we are going to get a um, texture when the um, the uh, it's like a dough, you know, when you and it doesn't stick to the to the pan anymore and it uh, uh, centers the like play dough. You want to get a play doh effect. You know what play doh is? I know it's play doh, but I didn't know it has an effect that it goes into the center and it uh, doesn't stick yeah, to the. You can make it on your stove top yourself, you know. Oh, with like oh, the flour. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. Ah, that's why mine doesn't work. Because it's not on. <laughs> Shoot. What? <laughs> it was somehow turned off. Gas, gas went out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, I was like, it shouldn't be that long. Wait. Yeah. We're baking this in the oven, right? So. Oven, okay. no. Oh. Uh, we are almost at the end of the process. You, but we do put it in the oven. No. No oven. Oh, for some reason, I was thinking we baked this. No, no. We just so. do it on the stove. Yeah. So that's what, probably one reason why you toast the flour, too. It shortens the cooking time. Could be, yeah. You have to cook the flour, so it would take mm -hmm. forever to cook it. Well, it's probably easier oh, yeah. to mix Lots it. What's the next step? What you put as a next in there? Everything together is in there, right? Yes, yes. The next step is just, as I said, when it becomes like a Play-Doh, uh -huh. as you mentioned, thank you. Yes. Uh, then you start to rock it. So because it starts to take that oil that it has to the to the outside okay. of it, okay. and it makes it very nice. So does it have, like, you're trying to get, like, one ball? Yeah, I exactly want to do that. Okay. So I probably should have done it in the other pan. The other pan is bigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. I usually use a pan for it, but this time I thought eh, it's not too much, so I can use the pot. Switch pans, because this one has a like almost twice the bottom surface. Mm -hmm. That's much better for cooking. That's easier. Wait. But also mine is very big. Good. I want to taste it, but the flour is not cooked right now. So no, you much. can taste it. It's not uh, very raw. I should have we... tasted it before I got distracted. I was before <laughs> I put it in the flour. Let's see what it tastes I like. See. Oh, -ho -ho! I've tasted it many times already. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it oh yeah very much good. good it doesn't really have a carrot taste mm -mm. Uh, because the taste of the um, uh, rose water and saffron is very uh how do you say uh, strong yeah yeah that's the reason would you putting the rose water now in or what no, we no, put I, for, I had to put when we blended it. Oil? You are talking to me? Yeah. When we blended. I had forgotten the saffron. I just mentioned it. I was like, oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're now we're adding the saffron? No, Forgot no, it. we had to add it to, in the time that you added the um, sugar, rose water, cardamom. In everything the blender, together. yeah. Yeah, in the blender. Oh. I forgot the not to put it in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just added it. I hope it's not going to make it. It's going to be so take, bad. Now it'll take longer to cook because you added more water. No, it was very little as you, can, you could see. As uh, I can show you mine, it's not watery at all. It's getting to the point I want. So let me show you. 
Okay, here it is. So I'm little by little getting that problem that I want. Oops. <laughs> so. Okay. Here we go. Oop. I forgot yeah, to turn mine see. back on. What happened? See, <laughs> you had the same problem of mine. I was like, when did I shut it off? I don't think I shut it off. You took it off the stove and it cuts off by itself. When I when I switched pans. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's getting there that it's becoming like a ball. Do you guys have the same texture? That you can see it stick to each other and not to the pan? Some of it is that way, but not all of it yet. So it's not ready. But if it is, uh, you are getting, you're getting it That's almost ready. If you, if you look closely, you can see the whole thing is like, trying okay. to get the moisture come out. And so that's probably part of it. When you mix it, you're letting that moisture come out. Otherwise, mm -hmm. okay. you don't mix it. I can look at it. You see, I Oh I yeah, do you this. got a whole ball. Mine's yeah. halfway, let's see. So you're getting there, but yours was much more. So maybe it takes time, but you see mine- I'm is glad I switched pans. This pan has a bigger surface. Yeah, you can see in this uh, step, I should start rocking, okay? So I think oh. I'll put you here again. Oops. Oh. Now you need to sing rock on okay. my carrots. Okay. In the top. <sighs> rocking your carrots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you need to start rocking the creep, rocking the carrots. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we start doing this. Yeah. And now we need to sing to a rock on my carrots. Oh, that's so you're still doing that over the heat, huh? Yes, sure. And the ball is the ball actually rolling? Yes, it looks very good. I want to show you. I wish I could show you without uh, like when I'm rocking it, it I can't rock and keep the camera at the same time, but look at it. Oh, wow. See, I rock, yeah. And I rock, it really rolls and it sticks to each other. So that's the way it should be. Okay. Anybody else has the same texture? I don't, I definitely not yet because I'm doing okay. a huge batch. Now, what does the rocking do? I it, mean, other than putting the oil outside to give it a shape or what? Yes, it? yes. It causes that and it causes uh, all of it being uh, cooked very well and cause the, the oil uh, come in the surface. Oh, okay. Now, do you, are you trying to get like a little bit fried on the outside, like a crunchy at all or no? No, crunchy not at all. But um, like having a, crust, a like a crust or no crust? No, it's a very oily, like soft uh, outside. I can show you again to see like how it looks. It seems that the oil is out and covering the the outside. Look, see? Oh yeah. Oh yes. Mine's kind of like that, but it's such a weird color. <laughs> okay, oh, beautiful. Here. Yeah, yours is very well. Brava. Yeah, it's because, I really like it. The rose syrup Suzanne, is, can you show it again? Doesn't I mean, matter, it doesn't matter. matter. It, it's already very pretty. So we oh, just wow, wanted a uh, pretty. Yeah. We just wanted something pretty with a nice color and you have it. Yay. <laughs> She's just like, you're, you're getting a little too enthusiastic with the rocking. Me or hair? Or <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't think there's a 
Any rules? There's a reason she made the smaller amount because when you make Yeah, it, I told you at the beginning that the rocking needs a big fan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only so mine is almost ready, so I want to put it in a plate. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'll show you what I do next. That is one of the most interesting parts because flatten it out. Suzanne, I'll have to spotlight you when you do it because I'm too far behind. I made too big of a batch as usual. Yeah. Okay. okay, you can you can watch me and then later do it. Okay. So I put it in the plate. Then I show you here. Okay. I need this. And no, I need a clean spoon. Okay. I have a spoon. I use um, a little oil. I put my spoon in a, in a little bit of oil so that I can make this. Oh, that table wow. is beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Here she goes. It's a like play doh. <laughs> it's like play doh. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious come on <laughs> hey when i was a kid we ate play-doh what are you talking about it was horrible tasting <laughs> i'm just teasing <laughs> okay so i make it well, we had and... homemade play-doh so i think it was more natural <laughs> <laughs> you put something over it or what no no nothing just a, a little oil on my spoon so that when i'm um, doing this it doesn't stick to the spoon uh -huh. Okay. And that's it. Uh, I will show you a cup, a kind of decoration that is very common in Iran. Uh, they uh, to make it not look like only a dough <laughs> and look more beautiful. So I will show you that, and then you can put uh, uh, almonds without their peel, like the white almonds. Yeah, that's what I feel. And pistachio, mm -hmm. and pistachios on top of it to decorate. Those are the things we usually do. Oh, this tastes so good. Good. I'm happy you like the taste. Okay. Now I think I'm ready for the magic. Or maybe you have seen it somewhere else and you don't see. Uh, think it is interesting but i think for many people who didn't see persian cooking this part is very amusing okay well i never knew it was carrots because it doesn't taste like carrots i've had this dessert before but i didn't know it was carrots ah interesting because i mean it has no taste of carrots in it at all i thought it was it orange because is... it was saffron and i was just like man they used a lot of saffron in that yeah, there is saffron, but not a lot. It's expensive. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I put my uh, spoon again in the oil. And I start from some part in the center, like here. And I would go like that. Oh, so you're yeah, making you decorations on it. Yeah. Yes. So it doesn't look like, it doesn't look, yeah. oh, it doesn't look, look like uh, as you called it, <laughs> play <-Doh>. Play-Doh. <laughs> Now it looks more appealing. Oops. We usually do it with butter to make it looking better when you serve it. <laughs> okay. Oh, you do it. So, oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Mm. Oh, you... Yeah, I like when I learn 
ways to make food look more beautiful because I'm used to just cooking lots of food to feed lots of people. And I usually uh -huh. don't care what it looks like, but. Yeah, but your eyes need to feed too. They should be happy. Feed the eyes. Suzanne, are you decorating yours? Okay. Now this is like that. Well, I, I can well, look check out Suzanne. She's keeping up with you. Wow, bravo. <laughs> May I see what you've done? Suzanne. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, beautiful. You're good. I love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So now I didn't I say that about my mess. Yours is not ready yet. It's not a mess. I know. It's I good. Know. <laughs> so when it's ready, I will tell you it's good. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel better. <laughs> okay. So I have some, um, uh, like the buds of some uh, roses. You can see, and they are mm. uh, they are dry. What did okay. you say? They are uh, buds of uh, rose. So it's like a dried rose. Uh -huh. Exactly, but not the whole rose, just the bud. Okay, so I can use that to decorate the, the halva. So, but that you don't eat that, or can you eat that? You can, you can. I don't like it personally, but it's edible. It's totally edible. They put it in so many kinds of soup. You don't like it, but you have a whole bag of it in your house. As I said, these are things that people gift you because they're nice and expensive. <laughs> there you go. And it's not easy to And you to want get. to remember home. Yeah. Exactly. I don't like to eat it. I like the, the look of it. Like it, it makes your, your food much, much more appealing. Now, does beautiful. those dried flowers have any smell? Or... Yes, yes, they, they are very strong in uh, smell of uh, rose. I like to put them in tea, so I don't eat it, but I eat the like rose, extra. rose tea, huh? Yeah. Mm, okay, well, I actually, make like, like now black tea. Back, the the those tips we call them rose hips. So we've I've had rose hip tea. Ah, uh, that's something rose different. Tea, what's no, that? is it? Yes, rose hip is something different. Rose hip is uh, actually a flower and it's called um, da, da, da. in a moment it comes to me. It's the fruit of the rose bush, isn't it? No. I thought it was. Oh. Rose, rose hip is hagedorn and it's it's uh, very high in vitamin C yep, and vitamin uh, C. you know, oh, something totally different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have inside little swan. Make like a, a lemonade with rose hips because it's a very sour. Yeah. Also, that is very good. I see. So mm -hmm. I make black black tea, like normal black tea, and I put a couple of those buds inside it, and it becomes perfect. Like it smells, as you said, like heaven, and it's very relaxing. I think there is something in the rose that uh, causes the nerves to be relaxed. So it's very good. If you want to have a nice sleep at night, that may help. Without the black tea, of course, but something else. So you're sh uh, shopping right now uh, almonds, right? Uh, uh, you can do almonds. I, unfortunately, I didn't find my almonds, so I'm doing pistachio. Many people do pistachio, almonds, all kinds of nuts, not walnut. <laughs> so pistachio, almonds are the most common one and usually you buy powder of it easily but i don't have it you can as i said put the white big uh, pieces of almonds as a flower on top of it which is beautiful so i'm now putting it here there and make it look prettier Mm. 
Oh, it's going to take a while before you're going to rock your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure the stove is working? Well, if I put it on four, it's too too much and it starts burning. And so, oh, so don't do it. It's perfect. Be patient. <laughs> no, I mean, it's almost, it, it wants to create a ball, but. Good. One hour later. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Persian I also food think usually. It helps. I think it helps you use double O flour, which is much smaller molecule. It's a pastry flour. Uh-huh. Therefore, I think it cooks faster. So what did you mm -hmm. double O you mean one drop flour? Yeah, it's like in the US, it's really hard to find double O. It's we just use it for pastry. It means it's been ground. It, 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 it's, you, uh, Suzanne, you said it, it means it's been ground again. It's it's a very finely ground flour. Yep. So I mean this That's is just regular, this is a local hand ground flour. So it's definitely not. But, okay. but Mine is ready. Yeah, definitely take a picture of your final beautiful product. Thank you. I will. And I will send it. And I, I still I have another blender full of the other batch, <laughs> just the carrot <laughs> without the flowers. But that'll be like my pudding. Okay, you can have a pudding too. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like now. I didn't put much time in the creating. It's just for not being plain and not looking like a... You just do a, a quick as decoration, as... yeah? Here. Oh, pretty. Oh, wow. It's not, that Thank wasn't you. complicated to make, but it, it came out really looking... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a picture of it. I feel like it's. I will. Okay. And I'll post it. You can post it on our Facebook or I will. Perfect. I No, you do it. I will send it to you. So let me do it. WhatsApp it to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh. I just advertised. I have to watch it. Looks very professional. There you go. Very but, gorgeous. How's Suzanne? How's yours coming out? I know you like uh, to decorate things. Yours was yeah, very good too. I have to remove some of my uh, the the skins off of my almonds first. Oh, okay. Ooh, she's doing it, brava! <laughs> but of course, it's not oh. toasting white. It's taking time. I know, I know, well, but it's, yeah, it's very I mean, important. It's quick if you like soak them, but. Yeah, yeah I, I usually do that in hot water, soak them so that get rid of the skin. Yeah, I should do that instead. I'm doing it the wrong way. Oh, you're doing it with a little knife? No, no, no. Oh, how are you? Dry roasting it. Oh, dry roasting, yeah. Yeah, no, that's the wrong way. Right. We're gonna do, we're gonna speed this up now. I'm gonna eat the rest that I made. Mine's trying to be a lump in the center, but look how it's too big for this pan. So now I'll know. Probably to no. just to double you can your do recipe one thing. for the pan because I don't think I think it'll yeah. be, end up being too big for. If it is ready, just make it a half and rock the other half and then uh, oh, okay. put the Good other idea. half. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's yeah, it's wanting to stick. <laughs> All right. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Um, you said you just always serve this as a des a dessert, but mm -hmm. ever just go? Do you ever just go and just eat some of this with nothing, like before you eat meal? <laughs> oh well, I I may because I'm a foodie and I love the sweets. <laughs> uh, 
yeah why not as why you not? say it's like a pudding so it's delicious it's nice there is no rule <laughs> there's no rules yeah eat dessert first life is short eat dessert first <laughs> so. yeah um anybody have any final questions or yalda you want to um final words um, no, I don't have anything special to say, but if anyone has a question or, or recommendations, I would be happy to hear. It's just like, um, I was thinking you ever add, uh, like things into the halva, not instead of on top, like, like mix in raisins or nuts into it. To this halva? Yeah. I've never done that. Okay. I don't know if because it's already a strong taste, so I'm not sure if doing that would uh, make it any better. Right. So it just puts another layer of uh, of um, taste, a strong taste. So I'm not sure if it is good. Okay. I always just like the figure out oh man it's like one big clump now yay good so, finally made it okay well not finally i got all that shaken but um uh -huh. thank you so much for sharing your food and your culture and my, my pleasure yeah it's um i will try to um bug you to teach me how to make the the persian milk dessert so I will, find, I will find what it's called. I forgot, but okay, okay. I just, it's. I always thought anyway. I'll I'll huh. find what it is and you can ask and then we can uh, we can arrange. Right. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you, uh, Suzanne. Thank you all. Thank you for joining me. Been along, yeah. That was but, fun. Yeah, it's like I like when they're just like simple ingredients, but it comes out very unique. Mm -hmm. like this is okay honestly this is mashed carrots but you don't taste the carrots and it has a lot a lot a lot of flavor and it's just mm -hmm. like it's just like mm -hmm. it's it's cardamom is strong and the rose water is subtle i don't know what it is it's just like it hits lots of layers all at the same time and mm -hmm. but i also think with this dish you eat a lot with your smell with this one. Yeah. You yep, have a lot so. of fun with that. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Let okay. Me wrap up. Thank you, everybody. It was fun and hope to see you again. Thanks. Yeah.